now it's Jeremiah Masoli who makes his second consecutive start as a Hamilton Tiger Cats quarterback. He led them to their first victory of 2017 last week against Toronto. Great starting point here for Jeremiah Masoli, who, by the way, last week got his first win since starting since his last start, the last win the Tiger Cats had last October. Let's go. On the Tiger Cats, probably pleased to have Masoli starting here against these Ottawa Red Blacks, given that he's had some success, including that victory last October against their division rivals. Soli almost led his team to the Great Cup game back in 2015, if not for the miracle on Bank Street, the pass from Henry Burris to Greg Ellingson. Look at Masoli ducking and then taking off the duck and tuck. And he goes for a first down. Uh, this is the element that he brings to the table. Colbert Lucier has been used mostly on special teams. Last season, and that strength up the middle. Antoine Pruneau leads away with three picks on the back end. Second and four, Masoli with time, slings it in. And down near the goal line, Jalen Saunders is knocked out of bounds. He wanted the touchdown, but they're marking him out down near the one-yard line. Adrian James was the last red black back to knock him out of bounds. Otherwise, this was six. Yeah, nice timing here as Masoli threads that ball in. Jalen Saunders on the crossing route. He's got to step. They've done great things here in a short time in Ottawa. And there goes Masoli, booting it, and will run for the first down. Using that, those feet and his ability with the feet, Masoli certainly changes up defenses. You talked about the success he's had against Ottawa. Yeah, and there it is, his last two starts against Ottawa, going back to the 2015 East Division Final, where he very nearly led his team to victory. And, of course, the Ticats' last win prior to Labor Day, October of last year, over 700 passing yards for Masoli in those two games. It's 19 of 33. 219 against Toronto. Masoli with the pocket closing. There's Luke Tasker. Was not used a whole lot in Monday's game, but made a couple of key grabs in the late going. And is very close to another first down. You see Jeremiah Masoli going to work, progressing through those reads, and finally. Tracking Luke Tasker on the crossing route underneath. We may see a little more crossing this week. Tasker wasn't really utilized a whole lot against Toronto, but I know they've been using some different packages. Yeah, looking to those guys as check down guys, those short crosses. Masoli takes the hitch, now looks up there again, goes over the top. And it's Luke Tasker once more into Ottawa territory. Jeremiah Masoli is slinging it tonight. Well, and I think this is where Jeremiah Masoli was looking initially off the fake hitch. You see Mike Jones with the, the jump to try and sell it. Things didn't open up the way he expected, so he had to buy a little time and allow Tasker to work his way into an open window. Masoli is perfect so far, four of four. Cluster formation to his left. Gable in the backfield. Puts them in motion with max protection here on the far side. Sends it out to in Florida and surrounding areas. Deadly hurricane. There goes Masoli. Scappers for a first down and more. And Jeremiah Masoli was averaging five yards a carry before tonight's game is upping that average. That's a 29-yard romp for Masoli. Well, I love the decisiveness of Masoli here. There it opens up, and he's got that lane. If he can just break one tackle right behind C.J. Gable, the receivers did a tremendous job blocking. Watch the left side of your screen at Brandon Banks, battling right to the end of that play. They devise this time. First in. Very close to making it first and goal, but they can also, also punch it into the end zone. And Luke Tasker, another catch here tonight, another crossing pattern from Masoli. Yeah, Tasker, such a reliable outlet to have in these situations. 
Tough catch as that ball tails outside. Just ducks his head to get that as close to the goal line as he can. It's also revenge day for some of the Labor Day clashes. Labor Day weekend clashes as well. And once again, so play again. Sometimes it's like that after you suffer an ugly loss, you don't want a lot of time to think about it. Or after a win like this, you want to keep the feeling alive. You don't want time for that momentum to die down in any way, shape, or form. Second down conversion. Here comes the blitz from the Red Rocks. There goes the ball. And once again, this is caught down the rail, and Brandon Banks hauls it in. And Jeremiah Masoli right now is putting on a clinic. Brandon Banks lined up out wide once again. He's going one-on-one -on -one with the rookie. Corey Tindo, and he's just going straight speed. There is no fake, there is no stem, there's nothing. I'm just gonna flat out run you. And Jeremiah Masoli put it on a beautiful throw. Great concentration on the catch. First down, Masoli boots it again, takes it. Step out of bounds. You don't have to pay for them, you just have to pay for the place. Great building that was built in the west. End zone here at TD Place. They're saying that's a catch by Jalen Saunders. See if he does. He's already rushed for close to 60 yards in the first half. Masoli now has some open field if he wants off his back leg. Saw Mark Nelson, the defensive coordinator for the Ottawa Red Blacks, heading downstairs and was kind of shaking his head after the first half. And probably a reason to shake his head. Well, yeah, feeling like his head is spinning largely because of trying to deal with this guy. Jeremiah Masoli coming at them all kinds of different ways. Used his legs very effectively, over 50 yards rushing for Masoli in the first half. Using his arm, spread the ball around to a number of different receivers. Some big plays, long, short, whatever he had to do. Throw a little bit of C.J. Gable in there. One game play last year, been a force this year. So now Jeremiah Masoli looking to answer. Pitching it out, C.J. Gable and Tulsa. And trust me, we were very thankful to be able to get the job done against an outstanding team. Masoli running again and getting a first down. Jeremiah Masoli using his legs tonight, Henry. Man, it doesn't surprise me with Jeremiah. I played with him. I saw the potential this kid had coming coming out of Oregon and Ole Miss. This kid has it all. He's the total package. And know, know the fact that he's over 230 pounds. Good luck tackling him one-on-one. -on -one. And this guy, when he tucks it, he can make things happen, not only with his arm, but he's always killed teams, and especially us over the past few years, with his legs. Oh, definitely a, a dual threat guy. Well, Ernest Jackson from Henry Burris will live in big play coming here for both sides. Second and three, under four to go, third quarter. Masoli rears back and throws again to Luke Tasker. The dependable. Masoli with four receivers to his right. Tonight, game two of our triple header. Got an exciting one now. Four point difference. Jeremiah Masoli trying to get his offense on track, and this will help. Jalen <laughs> Saunders on the far side on a long toss by Masoli. The chain gang will move. Now you're going to see Jalen Saunders work to the sideline here. Nice route combination. The out with the clearing route from his wide receiver. Take that corner out of the picture. Soli and the Cats jumped up to an early lead in this ball game. Look terrific and dominable in the first half. First and 10 from their 50. Here comes the rush. Masoli's in trouble. Escapes somehow. And Jeremiah Masoli takes a hit. May you have thought about going out of bounds for Darius Bryant. Right at the line of scrimmage, but by all accounts, Mazzoli slips out of the grasp of what should have been a sure sack. Well, you heard Henry Burris talk about it while he was up here with us. Jeremiah Mazzoli is a guy who's kind of built more like a running back. Tank, thick legs, low center of gravity. And you've got to be sure you wrap him up on the tackle, because otherwise he'll bounce off and keep going like he just did. Burner was the first down. Jeremiah Masoli with seven and a half to go. Great night for him running and throwing and leading the Cats. Can he lead them to another victory here in Ottawa tonight? To get down there and close the gaps. So now our nation, red-black fans as they call themselves, 
pump up the volume. Last play before the three-minute warning. Close ball game. It's only floats it out. C.J. Gable. Huge play. Flying up to the 30-yard line. That is the three-minute warning. Can the Cats make it two in a row? Can the Red Blacks make it four in a row? We'll find out when we come back to Ottawa. Clock moving and maintain possession, but Ottawa has swung the field on them here in this fourth quarter. Three-man rush, Masoli with lots of time, fires, and it's a first down. And on the far side, Brandon Banks. His first catch since the first half, a 12-yard pickup and a huge play from the Hamilton Tiger Cats quarterback. Yeah, and this is a gutsy throw, getting it all the way out to the wide side. And just in terms of lateral position on the field, as much as Masoli zips out when in there on a rope, when you're going from hash to sideline, on that side, you're talking about 41 yards. Brings up the Hamilton Tiger Cats who can... Take the knees here. Take the knee and take the V as in victory. Get their second straight win. And all of a sudden, after 0-8, the Hamilton Tiger Cats are back from the dead. Our Nissan Titan player of the game brought to you by Nissan, official vehicle of the CFL. Well, demonstrating that there's more than one way to win for the Cats. Jeremiah Masoli, quarterback, not a monster day throw in the football but made enough plays with his arm, augmented them with what he did with his legs, over 300 yards in total offense, including 73 on the ground. Make Jeremiah Masoli our Nissan Titan player of the game. Can you believe it? Just two wins, eight losses. Suddenly the Hamilton Tiger Cats are in the narrative in the East. Yeah, the East isn't pretty, but it's close. This game was close, but a bitter ending for the Ottawa Red Blacks and the Hamilton Tiger Cats have two straight wins under their head coach. A coaching change, a quarterback change, and so far it's working for the Cats. You said it about Jeremiah Mazzoli. The Tie Cats are 2-8, and eight, but Mazzoli is 2-0. and oh. and I mean, that's yeah. all that matters to him right now, I'm sure, replacing Zach Calaros, and he has been winning, and here he is now back at TD Place with Matthew Schnetti. Matthew? Jeremiah, you got the uh, game ball there. Uh, how big is this win building off of last week? It's huge, man. I mean, another team victory just like last week. Had a battle with these guys. Um, you know, I just couldn't be more proud to be a part of this team, man. We're, we're taking this opportunity to, you know, we got down big early in the season, but now it's, you know, we're building on this momentum, like you said. Take us through what it means to have guys like CJ contribute, Brandon contribute, Tasker contribute. These were the components of this team when it was winning not so long ago. Yeah, man, like I said, total team victory, man. I mean, we have so many dangerous weapons that, you know, we're finally being able to get get them the ball and get them moving. So, you know, it's just a credit to our coaching staff and all the, all the guys preparing hard. Is that ball for you or is that for somebody? Uh, no, man, this is, this is for the team. This is for the team right here. Like I said, this is all, like, you know, coach preaches all the time. You know, it's team before, before myself. So that's what, what we're going to do. Thanks, Jeremy. Appreciate it. Thank you.